Hi guys, I'm the OT back again with some more simple fun and effective OT games that are perfect for the home, the clinic or the classroom. So we've got another really fun one today called Sticky Fingers. So Sticky Fingers is one I use a lot in clinic and very much on teletherapy because you can, it can take about five to 10 minutes. The kids get really involved in it and it's a very good evolving task. So it starts very simply. The beginnings of it is it is fun and motivational enough to capture their attention. And then you can layer a challenge on top of that and the game kind of naturally evolves from there and you can make it more challenging all the time. And each additional challenge is more fun than the last. So it's a lovely little one, okay? So let's see without any further ado, Sticky Fingers. So Sticky Fingers is currently my favorite fine motor dexterity and control activity. It's very good for those kids who want to do more in-hand manipulation skills, either for handwriting or buttoning or any other fine motor skills activities. Really good for this kind of opposition and in-hand manipulation, okay? So what we want to do is make a sticky finger. You see, I've got a little tape on my pinky here. That's the starting off point. So let's make that first, okay? So for much younger kids, I would help them out with this. You might need a parent or someone to help them. For I had like five and six year olds do this part themselves as well. The trick is do it at a very slow pace and realize every step of the setup is a really rich learning experience also. Okay, so let's have a look at the first part. We're gonna need some tape. So I have masking tape here. You can use cell tape, it's fine. I use masking tape because for teletherapy, the, the white color is easier to follow on camera. It's transparent. They can't really see the tape as easily, okay? So tape for sticky finger. I want post-its or any piece of paper is fine. Again, colored post-its make it easier to follow on camera. Or you can do it with little manipulatives like coins as well, okay? So let's see how we make our sticky finger first, okay? Take your tape, pull it about maybe like 10 inches of tape. Now it's going to get all sticky and it's going to get scrumpled up. That's part of the fun. So we have the challenge to try and keep it straight. Okie dokie. Now a good pro tip for kids who are not used to controlling this and it'll be all messy, they won't know what to do, is reduce the kind of confounding variables. So stop it falling around as much. To do that, stick the bottom of the tape onto the table and tear off the top. So now it stays put. This is too thick so we need to Tear it in half straight away, right down the middle. Pinch the top and try to tear it down the middle. So you get two mostly even strips. We got one a little skinnier than the other. That's totally fine. It makes no difference, okay? You can try that a couple of times. Maybe it's not working. You have to, they might need a little bit of help, mid of hand over hand, but that's a good challenge in itself. Now here's the fun part, making a sticky finger. Take your little finger, stick the tape sticky side down, once around, then stop, and then go backwards, sticky side out. So you stick it onto the finger, and then roll backwards, back over the top. So you've got a sticky finger, easy peasy, okay? Now this guy's there, they'll feel around with it, they feel it feels unusual for my sensory seekers. It's a little bit of controlled, messy, kind of tactile feedback as well, because it feels icky and sticky and fun. If you're doing it with, Coins. Where's my coin? Here's my coin. All you're going to do is use your sticky finger to pick up the object. Now the movement, oh, the movement is this. They pick up the object, then they have to use the finger and thumb to pull it off the sticky finger and post it into a piggy bank or a cup or something that rattles as well, okay? Again, use your sticky finger, push down, first finger and thumb, pick it off, and then pop it inside. Easy peasy, okay? Now let's have a look at the posted version. That's my favorite one, okay? So keep your sticky finger out to the outside. Now we're gonna have some dexterous work with fingertips. Take a post-it and keeping your fingers away, tear the post-it in half so you have two pieces. Now double it over. I do this a whole bunch. Now you have four pieces, four squares. Then you have eight rectangles you can do this as many times as you want. I usually finish here with 16 mini squares. You make it rain, make it snow, make them all fall to the table. Okie dokie. You got your sticky finger. Then what I would sometimes do is have something really small, like a coffee cup with a little like takeaway spout on it. So it's only a little hole. Use your sticky finger to pick up, you can see that piece of paper on the table. Pick up the piece of paper. Sticky finger, whoops. 
sticky finger, take it off to your fingertips, and then try and roll it into a tiny, tiny little ball with those fingertips and pop it inside the coffee cup. So it's only a little small hole, like a little sippy spout. Again, sticky finger, take it off with finger and thumb. Mm, doesn't want to come off. There he goes. Scrumple it up into a tiny ball. Scrumple, scrumple, scrumple. And make it small enough that it has to fit through that tiny little opening. Okay? Easy peasy. We can do it even harder. I can take my other half of my sticky finger. Now I'm going to sticky my next finger, my ring finger. If you want to see again how that's done, look. You put the tape side down first. Go once around. Stop. Then go backwards, so the sticky side is out. Sticky, sticky. Now if those touch, the fingers are gonna to stick together mm, very hard. Mm. So then you're gonna need a lot, a lot of like, that movement to open them up again. Okay, the adductors, if I remember my anatomy right. All right, now this time, I'm going to have two different colors. So again, I'll lift them up, I'll do this one really fast. Rip, rip, rip. So now I have two different colors. I might put a tiny bit of pink in the back of one finger, a tiny bit of yellow on the back of the other. Now I'm gonna tell them as fast as they can, try and pick up all the different colors. So one finger is just going for pink, pink, and I have to take the pink off and scrumple it up. One is going for yellow. Oh, I can't reach. Oh dear. And one is going for yellow. And pick it up. All right. And I can call it pink or yellow. I can do it really fast. And the last one is how many can they pick up at one time? Okay. So this time you have to find all the sticky surfaces left. So how many pinks can they pick up? I have to use the side of the finger to try and pick up as many as they can. Then don't drop them and pick up as many yellows as they can. Then slowly. Put them back in, scrumple, 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 and post them back into the little cup. And that is sticky fingers. What you're trying to do is this movement here. You have fingers isolated, and then these two active dynamic fingers reaching across and peeling off and scrumpling up. So you're separating, separating the two sides of the hands. OTs talk a lot about like the biomechanics of the hand and the importance of the arches and the separation and opposition for writing and kind of lots of fine motor ADLs and dressing and things like that. And this is a really fun way to challenge that. Okay, and that is sticky fingers. Thanks guys. And that's it for sticky fingers. So that's currently one of my very like top of the pops favorite ones. So much so it's kind of a problem. I have two kids that when I try and do something else, they're like, can we not can we do sticky fingers instead? I'm like Shucks, it's a good problem to have because it is one that kind of captures the kids' attention and engagement as well. Now when they're finished, I have some kids that will do every finger and then they do what's called Spider-Man. So they try and stick their fingers together and then pull them open. So I'm trying really hard to pull those fingers apart. Urgh, it's very difficult. So it needs a lot of strength. So working those small little uh, stabilizing muscles in the hand is very good for as well. And just playing around with it and being silly, okay? Even things like when they're finished, to finish, by the way, all you do is just slide it and slide straight off. You don't have to unwind it because it's barely stuck on the skin at all. Even the feeling of the masking tape, the sticky, icky sort of sensation as well, it's kind of a little bit of a fun sensory boost at the end. Boom. And that's it guys. Um, thank you so much for all the comments and recommendations and requests. It's really lovely. I have a list of videos I have to do now. I promise people from around the world, uh, which is a lovely, lovely thing. Um, thank you so much. If you like these videos and want to stay updated, don't forget, there'll be one new every week now, hopefully. So just click subscribe and you'll stay updated as the new videos come out. But that's it guys. Thank you so much. And for this week, that's Adam the OT.